Hi everyone, this is Janet Simmons, and welcome to AEDT 4110, Assessment for Adult Learning in a Digital Context. This is the first video of the course, and the purpose of this video is to introduce you to the course layout. Distance education can sometimes seem a bit impersonal, so I'll start off with a brief introduction of myself, and then we'll look at the five important aspects of the course that you'll see running through each module. We'll review how the video clips are used in the course. I'll introduce you to the analysis questions. Next, I'll introduce you to the course activities and expectations. I'll also speak a bit about the course assignments. And then I'll wrap up with a look at the synthesis questions. I live in both Toronto and Victoria, where I'm working on my PhD in education. My work history includes working at a Toronto college for eight years and also as an instructional designer for a private IT education company where I created online, self-paced and in-class instruction. In 2013, I began my studies at the University of Victoria where I research educational technology. I'm always happy to talk with you about my background and areas of research. So feel free to ask me questions during our weekly tutorials. But enough about me, let's get on to the course. All video clips contain three elements that will help you organize the material for the course. Each video begins with the analysis questions. These questions will help you focus on the key areas you should think about while you watch the video. The content of the videos will give you the rudimentary information. Support videos or readings will introduce you to ideas and principles and offer in-depth content. Reviewing these resources is imperative to gain insights needed to be successful with understanding assessment for adult learners. Finally, each video will end with synthesis questions. These questions are designed to help you connect your key ideas and contents of the videos and bring together the concepts and ideas from the week's readings with the videos. Many of these questions will be asked in the weekly tutorials, so please come prepared to discuss them. Let's talk about the analysis questions next. These questions are read prior to the viewing and the remainder of the video. The purpose of these questions is to be an advanced organizer for your thinking and help you focus on initial areas of the content to ponder. Please discuss your thoughts with others in your tutorial group and the course discussion forum. There are also four analysis questions for this video. It's often easy to just think about the answers to questions such as these, but I have found that writing down my answers helps me process the information and refine the answers. I encourage you to open up a Word document titled Analysis Questions in this week's module and refer to them as you watch the video. The focus and purpose of this course is to examine principles and practices of adult assessment as they apply to adult education in the context of digital technologies. You will select, build, and analyze assessment tools appropriate to specific adult education learning goals and teaching strategies. Topics will include traditional assessment concepts and procedures such as reliability and test design, contemporary practices such as classroom observation and authentic assessment, and the ways in which digital technologies can improve assessment practices such as computer adaptive testing and electronic portfolios. Here we have the first three learning outcomes from the course syllabus. You can see that we will examine assessment from various perspectives. Please pay special attention to learning objective number three. This is perhaps the heart of the course and the skills you learn and apply here can easily be used in your personal teaching practices. These four learning outcomes will be examined mostly through problem-based learning. As you can see, there are lots of analyzing, reflecting, comparing, and critiquing in the learning outcomes. I highly recommend that you read the course outline and become familiar with the learning outcomes. Over the 12-week course, you will explore many issues surrounding assessment for adult learning. While that seems like a long time, the weeks will go by quickly. In fact, you will spend approximately three hours per week working on activities in the course, but that's a conservative estimate because many of you will dig deeper into the readings and begin exploring topics that are personally interesting and you want to know more about. The weekly video clips are on YouTube and I'll provide the links to them in each module. In addition, I'll also include links to support videos and readings in our Blackboard site. We will also meet each other online in Adobe Connect for the synchronous group activities. 
you've been emailed the link to the Adobe Connect Room, and it's also in the Blackboard course. You are required to show up and be on camera for one of the two weekly tutorials. These take place on the designated day at noon and again at 6 p.m. Eastern Time each week. There is also a Blackboard component, which includes discussion forums, and this is where you will find the videos and readings and other self-directed learning activities. You will also upload all your assignments in Blackboard. This slide illustrates the various components in the general workflow of the course. The 12 weeks are illustrated here, and as you can see, it begins with the introduction and ends with the wrap-up. In between, we have the majority of the weeks working on the two PBLs. This chart is also in the course outline. Here's a look at the assignments for the course. In total, there are five assignments, plus weekly posts and evaluations based on the tutorial contributions. Further details are available both in the course outline and in the weekly modules. The due dates are spaced out to give you time to complete each one and give me time to give you constructive feedback on the assignments. The two PBL assignments are broken down even further and have a variety of due dates. For example, the links or uploads of your videos are due prior to the tutorial. This gives others in the class time to prep in advance for your tutorial. The problem-based learning assignments are described in detail in the course outline and are also posted in the module on Blackboard, so please read through these sections carefully. You likely have experience with assessments, so I strongly encourage you to use your own resources to augment the material in this course. You should also look to your other courses, as texts and experiences from these courses will also be valuable to you. Finally, there is much information about assessment for adult learning available online, so you should also explore ideas and processes that you find there. There are six enabling tasks on the screen. Some of these, such as watching the video, tutorial participation, and posting on the discussion board and weekly activities. Others are more specific, such as working on the PBL videos and self and peer assessments. Each of these are important to your success in the course, so please make sure you follow the instructions posted in each week's module. As I mentioned earlier, each video ends with synthesis questions and these are used to help bring together your thoughts about the video's topic and form the foundation for our weekly tutorial. We will talk about these questions in the first tutorial. We'll revisit the analysis questions and synthesis questions as we move through the course, and as the course progresses, you should begin to see how your thoughts, approach, and perhaps even ideas about assessment for adult learning evolves. Well, that's it for the first video. I'm looking forward to seeing you in our first tutorial, so I'll see you soon.